Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Will Wareham, coming to you today from City Hall in downtown Beaufort, South Carolina. Today I'm going to be joined by Bill Prokop, City Manager of Beaufort, and Kathy Todd, who's the Finance Director here at the City of Beaufort, Stephen Murray, who's a Beaufort City Councilman, and John Verity, Chairman of the Redevelopment Commission. And finally, I'll be joined by the Mayor of Beaufort, Billy Kaiserling. So stick around for more 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak, where Spring Island comes to speak, where Hilton Head Island comes to speak, where Beaufort comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. I'm now joined by Bill Prokop, who's the city manager of, B of Beaufort, and Kathy Todd, the finance director. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So we're, we're, we're nearing the end of fiscal year, right? Ju uh, fiscal year is July 1 to June 30th for the city of Beaufort, right? Correct. Um, and when it comes to city budgets, uh, there's usually a lot more needs than there are funds available. Um, tell us about your challenges uh, you know, for the past fiscal year and, and, the, and the one forthcoming? Well, I guess your statement's sort of an understatement. <laughs> uh, I guess the first challenge is the restrictions that we have and the capability we have as a municipality to say, okay, we can just tax or put whatever, right. we request whatever revenue <laughs> needs we have. And, you know, unfortunately, as a municipality, we do have restrictions, and, and Beaufort County is one of the few counties in the state that doesn't have a loss program, so that where we could have the local option sales tax to offset our costs. But like everything in every other municipality, our infrastructure is aging, just like we all right, are. Right, right, right. And as it gets older, it needs more and more repair and cost. Mm -hmm. Costs are increasing. And as we all know, the state legislature is not funding the transportation needs that the state has. And a lot of our costs, whether it's road repairs or fixing drainage issues, are on roads that don't belong to the city. Mm -hmm. But do we let our residents continue to drive through the pothole on their street? Right. Or do we fix them? So our big challenge is doing what we have to right. with the limited resources and the huge problem that we've had and it's been true in Beaufort for years. We're a population of 13,000 people, but we serve 60,000 plus yeah. every day. Yeah. And in addition to that, right now we're in a, I say a fortunate position. We are having a lot of commercial growth going on, mm -hmm. but it's just starting. Yeah. We won't see that revenue for two to three years down the road. Mm -hmm. So our, our hands right now are a little bit tied. We need to be prepared and we've got to find a way to balance those needs. Okay, okay. So now, Kathy, I understand that one possible solution is a fee uh, to cover the cost to provide some public safety and public works activities like Bill was just referencing. Uh, can you explain to us how that might work? Well, uh, we're actually researching that right now uh, with legal counsel because, um, as Bill had indicated, you know, the state laws are pretty restrictive in what we can and can't do. Right. And fees, though it's allowed by state law, to charge a fee as long as it's used for a specific purpose, how that fee is structured and what it's used for is critical so that it really is a user fee and there's a quid pro quo versus a hidden tax. And so we have to be careful that we don't structure it in a way that could be viewed by the, by the legal system or the courts or by citizens as just a hidden tax. Gotcha, okay. And that, you know, that, that's, theoretically another form of revenue for the city and the municipality. What are some of the primary sources of revenue for the city? Um, our primary, th we have three primary uh, revenue sources. One is um, obviously property tax. Okay. Um, the second one is business license. Mm -hmm. And the third one is our local um, accommodations and hospitality tax. Right. And those three taxes alone probably comprise over 75% of our revenues. Wow, okay. Um, so now looking forward a little bit, uh, we're looking at 2017 now, which is kind of mind boggling for me, but um, <laughs> what do you see as the greatest challenge in setting up a balanced budget for fiscal, for fiscal year 2017? 
I'll let Kathy start with that. Ah, <laughs> some of the challenges for setting up, for setting up a balanced budget. Yes. Um, obviously, mm -hmm. meeting critical needs. Um, you know, uh, we have a limited amount of revenue, mm -hmm. um, and then making sure that we um, capture at least our critical needs. Mm -hmm. um, what ends up happening though is some of the needs that weren't so critical in prior years are becoming more and more critical because we've been kicking that can down the road <laughs> a little too long. Right. So mm -hmm. it's, it's become quite a bit of a juggling act um, to try to get a balanced budget moving into 2017, which is what we're required to have, right. and still meet not only the needs of our personnel, but the needs of our infrastructure and the needs of just our day-to-day -day operations sure. that um, that our citizens expect to receive. Absolutely, and is that, that's part of your, a big part of your job, right? Is the balancing the budget? That is uh, with the help of my boss. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I think in addition that what we're really trying to do this year is council at their retreat gave us a focus to concentrate on. Okay. And that is economic development that creates jobs that are higher paying. Right. And what we've been able to do with all the department heads is say, okay, tell us, and it's in the budget presentations we're going through, what are your real needs? Mm -hmm. And it, there's, I can honestly say, and of course everyone can say that, but there's no fluff in the budget. <laughs> this, here's what they needed, and we had to go through and say, okay, we've got to cut 200,000 here or 100 there or you can't have this piece of equipment this year. Right. And all every department head has really stood back now and said, okay, I'm not just going to push for my department. Let's push what's the best needs of the city. And that's where we're really balancing. And that's, I think people will see that during our budget presentations. Okay. Um, so, Bill, Kathy, I know that this is a huge job for you, so thank you very much for sharing a little insight in what, you know, what your challenges are for this fiscal year, for 2017. I think it helps the public uh, a great deal understand you know, where their tax dollars are going and, and what's going on out in the, in the city, and, and I think you're doing a great job servicing that 60,000-plus uh, population with the budget of, of uh, you know, a fraction of that. So thank you very much for joining us thank today. Thank you for having us. Thank you Appreciate for having it. us. Absolutely. Appreciate it. And stick around for another segment of 843 TV.